Welcome to Mr. Veggie Dad's Adventures! Good to see you. We will talk later. That we will. <laughs> Hello, hello. I'll come down to hello. see you, my friend. Good oh. day, my friend. Oh, yes, Thank you yes. For Good yes. to see you. Try this out. This wind yeah, is crazy. They're selling vodka here. They're selling vodka here because it is made here. So, what did we get? The strawberry. Oh, yeah, the strawberry. That is really nice. That is really wow. nice. That is really good. It's very refreshing too. That is really good and refreshing. Mm -hmm. Social House Vodka A plus. Thank you. <laughs> So we didn't even do a proper intro, but we're at the ENC Renaissance Festival down here in Kinston, North Carolina. Woo! And actually we just met Jacques the Whipper. Uh, it was only a split second for a picture, but hopefully I'll be landing an interview with him later today. So here's to an awesome day at the Renaissance. Uh, do I noogie you? Uh, I if you like want, yes, way, yeah, because yes. your head is just so furry. I just gotta get her. <laughs> I hope I'm not noogieing you too much. <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, seriously, thank you for your time. My pleasure. Are you a hugger? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. This wind is crazy, but I don't care. I just got to interview Jacques the Whipper and i don't know i might cry that's like a, a dream right there as a lover of the renaissance so i'm happy thank you jordan for filming that you're welcome you're amazing <laughs> this is such a good day
YouTube video right now? Is it like, is there a real dead fox? It's yeah. a real fox, yes it is. That's cool. Yep. Can I feel it? Sure. It's soft. It's very, very soft. Wait, does it go down? It goes all yeah. the way down. It has a tail. Say hello what? to the magic box. Good morrow. Good morrow, well met. <laughs> all right. What are you sipping on? I'm sipping on Starlit Mead. Starlight Mead. Or Star Star Starlit. No, it's Starlight. Starlight, You're right. Starlight Mead. Yes, we got it. What do you got? The honey peach one. Honey peach, and I got spiced apple, which is their sweetest. And I will say it is exquisitely good. Can't wait for this wind to die down. Yes, been, this wind is crazy. It's but, been blowing dust in my eyes like all day. But that's all part of it. <laughs> And I have had zero caffeine today, so I'm excited for my headache later. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yes. We've had no caffeine. Oh, Cheers to that. Oh, good day. <laughs> Cheers to that. We're at Retro Meadery, about to do a tasting and then buy some pours. Woo! Let's get it. All right, so our first one's going to be our Knights of the Elderberry. It's a double infused elderberry mead. Thank you so much. Ding, ding, ding. We already have a winner. <laughs> That's so good. That was on the dry side. A lot of people think that mead is really sweet. It can actually be pretty dry, too. All right, so next one's going to be our orange amata. This one's going to be a honey forward taste with an orange and citrus bite. Wow, I love orange. I love orange. So now you got your vitamin C and your immunity, your immunity. Next is your coffee, so you're gonna get your caffeine. Oh, I think no, salt. You no. salt. <laughs> now this one is two types of different cold brew coffee. You got Costa Rica and Sumatra blend. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> that is crazy. 
Coffee and meat. Coffee and meat. Coffee and meat. That is a first for us. <laughs> that is really good. All right, so your next one is your Bob Rosberry. Oh, I was it's made with a rare raspberry honey and fresh raspberries. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. This is the perfect time. Yeah. Mm. Nice and sweet. I'd like say your happy little taste buds will enjoy that one. Yeah. <laughs> that is insanely good. Okay, and the last one is our centipede. And this one's made with apple juice, cinnamon, and wildflower honey. And this one is the most sweetest, right? This is the sweetest one and the most popular one that we have. This one also mixes really well with our coffee one to sweeten it up and our nice little elderberry make a berry cobbler. We have a blueberry one that if you mix this one with it, it tastes like a blueberry pie. But we ran out of blueberry one today already. <laughs> they are all very, very good. Um, Greatly you appreciate you, that. You can do a mix of the centipede and the coffee? Uh, yep, the centipede and the coffee mix. That's what I, I would love that. You want to pour that one? Yeah. You too? Yes. All that right, Matt, really we'll get good. you going here. Thank you so much. Absolutely, thank you. Well, Johnny worked for Jack, the richest man in all the county, who'd come down from the beanstalk, as you heard in tale and song. That's he right. Jack's mother and himself were fit to live the life of a Riley. But if you thought it ended with the giant's death, you're wrong. For the farm it grew and new hands came, and Johnny was the strangest. Oh, yes. After six long days into the grave, the giant's corpse was sent. <laughs> then Johnny went down to the pub to celebrate his wages when all throughout the town they heard the following lament here we go Johnny get off the goose for it's the ass that you'll be wanting Johnny get off the goose for it's the ass you need to ride you'll not be getting very far to take a goose home from the bar so Johnny get off the goose my lad and get your ass inside a farmer's days are early ones, tis no alarm they're needing. The crowing of the rooster shakes the slumber from their eyes. But come the dawn, the sun arose, no poultry song they're hearing. And so they turned to Johnny, and it came as no surprise. Johnny, get off the goose, for it's the cock that you'll be wanting. Johnny, get off the goose. It doesn't call the morning sun. The noise it's making's one of pain. The cock is calling once again. So Johnny, get off the goose and tell your cock the day's begun. Now on Jack's farm, they plant more beans and psycho do for Tina. It's nature's way for all to share the bounties of the land. But when the rodents left their turds. One, two, three. Well, I need to go for this stuff. We have the front whip crack, the around the head whip crack, and the not so popular butt crack! <laughs> butt crack! Hey, he's winking! He's winking wink at him! Oh! oh. 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 Change my mind! Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. We'll do it. Yep, it's it. Oh. Oh. And the kids all cheered. Oh. 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 The oh. oh. lady swooned. Oh. The captain asked. Oh. Yes. Oh. And the pirate said, A pirate's life for me. Thank you so much, kids, for the soon mom. Where the shadow players? Do not move your. Ready? Go! So, uh, we, we, we have a lot to talk about. Um, I've been included in the ENC Renaissance uh, to be a part of their storyline they have going on. Uh, <laughs> this is insane, but... I have notes from what? Your Grace himself. Uh, so, I can't read that. oh, she can't read it. It's it's insanely it's cursive. Uh, the Viking Queen, which is way over there, 
is threatening to take over our Queen Eleanor, which we cannot have at all. Um, I could cry, but I'm not going to because it's a renaissance. <laughs> what? Um, I'm emotional. But um, being a part of this, being a part of something so special is making me, I don't know, I'm just happy. I just turned 30 and I didn't think I'd be happy in my 30s and now I, I'm happy. I'm stoked. I've talked to so many people today. I've made so many friends. Um, this is just crazy. So the five o'clock joust is coming up and they've told me I could grab a weapon and be a part of the royal, the royal like queen court. So uh, I'm gonna be doing that here soon. It's like 4.30ish, uh, something like that. And it, it's been a crazy day. I don't even know if, if I've captured everything I wanna capture on video um because we're having such a good time i'm blown away the enc renaissance is something you need to experience especially if you're on the east coast come to this it is amazing thank you for watching oh, yes. <laughs> i like it yeah i'm very comfortable now yeah stop it okay now help me out look french okay okay okay, okay. 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 Nobility. Just remember your pockets might be a little bit empty. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Outside. Yeah. Outside. Get it together. <laughs> I, I saw a line of people. There's no forgiveness.
to the third and final joust of the day, the Tournament of Champions. I am Lady Melissa de Rohan, Duchess of Brittany, and I am the guest judge and arbiter of today's events. Her Majesty Queen Eleanor has invited us here today and invited two knights to compete for the title of Queen's Champion, along with the riches, lands, and honor that go with that title. Your Grace, with your permission, I would call these champions to the field. You have my permission. Thank you, Your Grace. Long live the Queen! Long live the Queen! The first champion I call forth is a daughter of the birthplace of valor, wild and untamable Scotland. Be not deceived by her noble countenance, for she is a fierce warrior who will defend her sister and her country even unto death. Riding in the colors of blue and white, Countess Holyrood, Lady Jane Stewart. Welcome, Countess. We are delighted to see you here this day and look forward to your prowess upon this field of battle. Ride well. Have you words for your people? I do indeed. My good people! Well said, Countess Holyrood. Ride in the colors of emerald and silver.
this custom, you may now seek a favor from your crown to aid you in the battle to come. Go now and seek your favors. Good people, if you have a favor for your knight, please come to the fence so that you may present it to them. All with the favor! Take the fence! So, <laughs> if you have a favor, you want to just do your best. Champions, I believe that the court has favors for you. Would you like to tie it off? Ah, Countess Holy Rose. Countess.
most unique form of entertainment. Good people, raise your voices for the performers of Gracie Productions. So we are ending our first day here at the ENC Renaissance and uh, I tried to get the best footage I could. It may be a little sporadic in this first vlog. Um, I think you did good. Yeah, I, I feel like I did okay. Um, I'm blown away by this, by this festival. Um, with it being a one weekend all volunteer Renaissance, it's been amazing and look we're gonna have horses in the background <laughs> it it's been absolutely amazing they've treated me so well being a part of one of the storylines going on today um, getting good videos of the joust which is like a 17 minute section of this video so sorry if you're bored by it um, this renaissance has been amazing uh, thank you to Jacques the Whipper for letting me interview you uh, that was like a dream come true for me. Um, so I appreciate even just the five minutes you gave me. It was it was a, a fun time. You give great hugs and shout out to your bakery coming out soon. Um, <laughs> Twenty. At what 2025, say? his 20. bakery will be coming out. Uh, uh, do you have any words for anybody? Any shout outs anybody? or anything? It's just great. That's just great. Yeah, it's been a wonderful day. I can't believe we're already coming to an end. However, today is not over for us. We have the Royal Parlay after party coming up in like two hours, I think. Um, it's like, I think so, yeah. Yeah, um, which is here on the fairgrounds. They're gonna feed us, they're gonna give us drinks, they're gonna do songs, and there's gonna be fires. So it's gonna be an absolute fantastic time. Um, and we will see you in the next video shout out to enc renaissance amazing i wish you great success and next year i hope it's even bigger than it was this year um so yeah yeah uh we will see you in the next video thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed it and enc renaissance day two will be out very soon peace Mr. Veggie Dad Production.